to Capitol Hill, where the House took the very rare step to censure one of their own, Arizona Congressman Paul Gosar. This hasn't happened in a decade. It comes after Gosar tweeted a violent cartoon animation showing him killing a fellow member of Congress, Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, and attacking President Biden. Here's Rachel Scott. Tonight, for the first time in a decade, the House voting to censure one of its own, Representative Paul Gosar, after the Arizona Republican tweeted out a violent cartoon showing him killing Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and attacking President Biden. The House has resolved that Representative Paul Gosar of Arizona be censured. Speaker Pelosi declaring Gosar's actions particularly egregious in the wake of the Capitol riot. When a member uses his or her national platform to encourage violence, tragically, people listen to those words and they, can be, and they may act upon them. And for anyone who threatens to apply the same standard to Democrats in the future, I'm with you. Representative Ocasio-Cortez calling on Republicans to simply acknowledge that what Gosar did is wrong. Does anyone in this chamber find this behavior acceptable? Would you allow depictions of violence against women, against colleagues? Would you, would you allow that in your home? For his part, Gosar defiant. I do not espouse violence towards anyone. I voluntarily took the cartoon down, not because it was itself a threat, but because some thought it was. Out of compassion for those who generally felt offense, I self-censored. The House Republican leader didn't defend Gosar, but refused to condemn him either. For Democrats, this vote isn't about a video, it's about control. That's the one and only thing Democrats are interested in. David, tonight Capitol Police tells me they have seen an increase in the amount of threats against members of Congress. Democrats say that's why they needed to take a stand. And as for Congressman Gosar, well, just minutes ago, he reshared that violent video on social media once again. David? Rachel Scott tonight. Rachel, thanks. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.